maybe start with a little introduction to the camp and why you guys are spending the week here at Chris's house for bird camp. I was hoping to get some good contact with the best, some of the best guys in the country, best guys in North America, and uh, my, fo my focus has obviously always been on distance skiing, and uh, this gave us the ability to have a camp that we wrote the schedule for, and uh, with the focus being on getting far better in the world at, at distance skiing. With um, my health the way it's been the last two years, I knew that a big chunk at low altitude has really helped my recovery, and then the opportunity to live and train with Chris. I'll be here for a month. Uh, it's huge. He's the best. I mean, he's a guy I've looked up to since I was a kid. Now we're friends, and now I can uh, I still learn from him and train with him. It's been great. Hop is coming off two years ago. An incredible season with, in my mind, you know, two wins or two of the fastest days on the World Cup, however you want to look at it. That's, that's huge and an unfortunate breaking his leg, but um, to come here and train with these two guys, it's, it's a huge opportunity for me to learn a lot and to get back to where I want to be, two of the best distance guys. And then uh, also for my teammate, Noah, with Vail, and then we have my brother come out too, and Zach, like, we have the support to, to be successful, and it's been it's been really beneficial. For me, it's a good opportunity to train with these guys, especially coming off of a solo camp in Stovio where I was at really high altitude and did uh, zero intensity. And to come down here and have these two guys to push me um, and to battle with and work on my strengths and again write a really hard training plan for the week that I'm here and uh, just have a really quality session with good intensity and, and good training partners. So today we conducted a session that I've had in mind for a camp that we tried to get on a camp schedule for quite a while. Um, and it seemed like the perfect opportunity to do it. I think it played out really well. And uh, I'd love to revisit it and even introduce some more players. But what it was was a session focused on finishing, trying to win races. Win races when it counts, which is at the end. Um, a lot of the World Cups are mass start at this point in time. There's a lot of tactics involved, and uh, we haven't frequently put guys with the capacity to ski in front of the race into tactically good positions. And practicing those types of situations is something that's really hard to come up with in skiing. And I don't think we've done a good job creating those opportunities in training. And this was a this was an opportunity to to make a session with a lot of chances to learn lessons and try some things out. So what we did was we ran three intervals with a roughly 15 minute block scheduled for threshold level, followed by about two kilometers of racing on rolling terrain. Chris picked a great course with a really sustained climb for the first 15 minutes. Because Tad's coming from a lower training volume, just bringing his health back up, and we have no reason to expect his capacity to be at the same level as Chris and Noah. We gave him a little bit of head start. We had to back that off after he, uh, he won the first race. Uh, that takes some of that advantage away. Um, but it was great to see Tad mixing it up when it counted. And I thought the session went really, really well. I've been in the end of a World Cup in the sprint several times. Not as many times as I would have liked. I wish I could go back to those several times um, and have a better plan than, than I did. Have some tactical ideas in my head, not just be excited to be there. If the opportunity comes again, I want to be ready. One of the reasons I feel like Kevin Tad here is a real asset is that his background in cycling um, gives him some tactical acumen that's not real common among skiers. I think when we look at the video, we'll see that play out a little bit. Tad was definitely dicking with us today. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I kept down accelerating Hoff to mess up his flow, get him frustrated. And then I pretended like I got dropped and burned out of cover it.
sharpest when the when the uh, chips were down today. Your capacity looked really, really good. Can you tell us a little bit about the whole thing went how the whole thing went down today, and then what you learned? Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely carrying some fatigue, and it was a, a challenging session. I tried a couple of times to break these guys early um, on the on the hilliest section of the race part of the course, and um, could never kind of break that elastic and. and Kind of broke myself in the process a couple of times. Maybe it's difficult directly after a frustrating session to have a lesson to take away. And I know in the past you've often had a little more clarity after a day or so has passed. But are you in a position to say that you learned anything today from that? I don't know yet. I mean, I think that's a hard setup for me to win against these guys. I mean, I I tried a couple different ways today and couldn't get it done. I learned a lot in that when to go, when to try to win, and like when you make the race, when you move. Um, these guys are tough, very tough. They're, they're fit, very fit. And it was interesting that we try to win on flat sections. We didn't try to win the workout. We just try to win on a flat section where attack just came into play. And the advantage, my advantage helped me for sure. And I was able to, I learned a lot from the workout. And I learned hopefully how to win and learning to win against these two guys, take notes from it, I think is going to put me in a good position in the winter to have confidence to know how to ski with them and try to pass them is, they're the two best. So I, mean, I take huge confidence in the fact I only won one, but I'm quite excited about it. <laughs> I thought it was a great session because we, we all respect each other. We all have... You know, I was having fun out there despite being in a ton of pain and going out in a workout like this and really butting heads. Um, I know they're going to absolutely do everything they can because they're com just as competitive as me. So, you know, it means something when you when you manage to squeak out a win in a little thing like this. And it's, it's fun. I had fun today. I've had fun all week.